Hey besties, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you guys don't already know, let me be the first one to tell you that Natasha Denona just came out with some beautiful makeup goodies. She dropped the mini Biba palette, which looks like this. Of course, we'll open it up later. And then she came out with the Rose Cheek Duo, which is a cream blush and then a powder highlighter right here. And we're just going to kind of play with these products and see what we think of them. That's why I don't have eyeshadow, blush, or highlighter on right now. But I am beyond excited to get all these goodies on my face immediately. So we are going to start with the 5 pan palette. The first thing that I really want to say, you guys, is that I had to pull this out for comparison. Because back when I had a 5 pan palette, this was the size and now they're so small. When did that happen, you guys? I really don't like shop Natasha Denona very, very often, but they used to be this size and now they're this size. So what's the deal with that? Can you guys like let me know something about this? Because this looks so cute and tiny and bite-sized. Uh, and then I also picked up this one, which we won't review today, obviously, because that's not what this is about. But this is just like the little holiday palette she came out with, and I thought these shades were gorgeous so I like had to pop it up because it said limited edition as well but yeah we're just gonna jump into this palette it's so cute and tiny like look how small and cute and yeah again I don't have the regular Biba palette so I can't exactly say if this is like the same kind of formula or like the same layout you guys let me know if you think this is a nice layout of shades as far as making an extension of the Biba because it's really hard I feel to make an extension palette with only five shades in it so let me know if you think they did a good job or not I'm first gonna go into this very neutral shade right here and of course it doesn't have a mirror so I'm going to be using my Lunar Beauty palette And we are just going to blend this, blend, 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 blend. It has some nice pigmentation there. Mm. You guys see this skip right here? Mm. If you guys are curious about the price on these products, uh, the palette is $25, the one I'm using right now, and then the face palette, the little mini palette, is $19. So I think that's actually a really, really good value for both items. I mean, given the palette is super duper small, but let's really get real. I never go through a single eyeshadow palette. I mean, it takes it would take me a very, very long time to do so, considering my collection is pretty big. So I think that's actually a pretty good value. And palettes like this are really good for travel and also like on the go. And you guys, that little patchy area is doing a lot better now. And I feel like maybe it did that because I did set my eyelids earlier and maybe like with Natasha you don't really do that some palettes you can some palettes it gets patchy so that's just something to note for myself going forward and I really love that with this shade you can go light and get a really nice light neutral wash or you can kind of just keep adding on like I did and you can get a deeper color. I really really enjoy palettes like that because I feel like they're very versatile. And for a palette that has five shades it kind of needs to be a little bit more on the versatile uh, side of things. With this palette you get one shimmer and then you get those three mattes, and then you get that cream to powder shade, which is right here. She does this in some palettes. I had to actually do some research on it because I had no idea, like, what this was. And it feels really interesting, you guys. Let me actually swatch it for you as well. Looks like that. Very, very cool. I'm... I'm really really interested in using this so I'm gonna put this on the outer corner I guess you just use your brush I mean right 
And then I am just going to work that on the outer area of the eye. Using another brush, I'm going to go back into that shade and just give it some taps. I think uh, I think that's interesting. I think I need to play with it a little bit more over time too, to kind of get more familiar with the product. And then we're gonna go into the lightest pink shade and just blend this on top. Just because I really want to utilize all of the shades in this palette, and I think that's actually really really beautiful. And then saving the best for last, going into the shimmer shade. And for those curious, this is what it looks like without being wet. So that's actually really beautiful. And then this is what it looks like when you do wet and foil it, which that really just turns it up a notch. Then taking the deepest powder shade, we are going to clean up the area between the shimmer and the matte. Or actually, this is a cream, huh? Powder to cream, or cream to powder. And now I'm going to go do the same thing on the other eye, add some lashes and mascara, and I'll be right back. And this is what the eye look looks like. Of course, they are not twins or sisters when it comes to me. But we're going to take this darker shade again. And we are going to build that on the under eye because I really love that look a lot. And just add that color to the bottom with a tiny, tiny brush. And then doing the exact same thing on the other side. And taking the shimmer shade and just really lightly putting that in the inner corner area. And then moving to the cute little duo, opening her up. This is what she looks like on the inside. Really beautiful shade. And this is the actual inside of the palette. Really beautiful. So I guess that just cream. Oh, it is a cream. I was like, that doesn't look like a cream to me but it is in fact a cream. So taking this blender and working it into the cream side, into that beautiful pinky blush. And then patting it on the cheek, like so. Oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, and you can really build it up, or you can leave it quite natural. I would say this is definitely more built up. Uh, you can do either or with it. Mm. That actually looks really beautiful up close on the skin. Have you guys ever used these before? This is like my first encounter, and I have to say, wow. Also adding some on top of the nose. Oh wow. I'm gonna mute that down just a little bit. Pretty. And then doing the same thing on the other side of the face. I love this. I 
I especially love it because it is a cream product, but it doesn't leave the skin looking so super duper dewy. I don't like it when I use a cream blush and it is like really really like glossy looking on the skin like overly though I don't think this is overly glossy I really really enjoy it and then dipping into the highlighter portion we're just gonna go ahead and use this little fan brush and we're gonna work that right there on the high point of the cheek Also really pretty. Wow. I've like always known Natasha Denona for her, you know, for her eyeshadows. Never for her face palettes, but now I'm like, oh, I need to invest because these products are gorgeous. Like, would you guys not agree? Like, these products are really, really beautiful. I will say because I added so much, I only had a cream bronzer. Uh, so I kind of have to reapply bronzer because I feel like I definitely lost that bronzeness. And now it's just kind of like a little bit there. This side looks a little bit better than the other side, I feel. I feel this side really needs, I need to add the bronzer back for sure because it looks like a stripe right there now. Uh, but it looks... Wow, I really, really need to invest because these products are gorgeous. And for $19 for this, and then the palette is $25, really, really good prices as well. And yeah, I don't know. I'm really, really happy with how my skin looks right now and how the eyes look. Now the eyes, of course, you're always going to get a either neutral or a rosier toned look. That's all you're really gonna get out of this palette. So if that's what you're looking for on the go, I feel like a lot of us do enjoy those kind of tones, then it might be worth it. Uh, yeah, you guys, this is everything. So that is kind of my final thoughts on this wow yeah i feel like the palette is going to be really good for if you do travel even if you don't travel and you like something really easy to the point you're a neutral girl or like a rosy tone girl you really like this one or maybe you don't have the biba because you're really not trying to spend that price point right now but you want to see if it's worth it maybe test this out see if you like it and then you know for this i feel like you would like this because i've tried a lot of blushes and highlighters and I feel like these look really good I will say that the highlight does obviously show texture what highlight that's really beaming isn't going to show texture you guys I will say I have chunkier you know nastier kind of looking highlights um not that this one is nasty but just ones that don't sit on top of the skin as nicely so this is actually a good one I feel and the blush is also really really beautiful I mean I really really like the blush like Oh my gosh, so much. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are already subscribed, definitely do so. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite product was here or other facial recommendations from Natasha Denona because I personally want to dip my toes in even more because this was really, really good. And yeah, how do you feel about extension palettes? Definitely let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, besties.